Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Bronwyn. I do all beauty related videos focusing mostly on skincare, products, makeup tutorials, skincare routines, reviews on skincare products, and then the occasional lookbook and like the very rarely hair tutorial. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my current product obsessions and I figured it was a good time for me to do this just because the holiday season is fast approaching. Black Friday is literally just around the corner and same with Cyber Monday so it's the perfect time to kind of maybe give you guys some ideas of what you can get yourself, treat yourself for those upcoming events or some Christmas shopping ideas for the holiday season that's upon us. So without further ado, let's hop right into literally the products I'm obsessed with that I feel like everyone needs to know about or have. The first product is one that I was sent to me recently in the beginning of November, which I was so excited about because I don't know if any of, I don't think I've ever shared it on my channel, but I am obsessed, obsessed with dry body oils. They are just so amazing, especially when you mix them together with your current moisturizer. It's literally like the perfect way to keep your skin extremely moisturized throughout the winter season. And here in Canada, it gets so dry. Literally the humidity in my room right now is 32%, which is below comfort, comfortable. So my skin is so painfully dry all the time. I have to have so much moisturizer on just to stay like okay. The dry oil I'm specifically talking about is the one by Scentbird. It is the, their Lush Gold Radiant Beauty Oil. So not only is it a dry body oil, it also has flecks of gold in it. So it just, you look so good. Like I have it on today. I have everything on today. Every time I shower, I use this after and I mix it with my Vaseline Intensive Care Repair Moisturizer. These two combined are perfection and aside from that this literally smells like a dream oh, I just it smells like Christmas it's like a it's like a vanilla y I don't even know how to explain it like a warm sweet smell and it's just like everything you want and more from a dry body oil is this and I feel like I've already used so much but it has 24 karat gold in it, jojoba oil, which is my favorite, favorite oil. And then my second favorite oil, which is sweet almond oil, which I love for the hands and body. It's just amazing. So this literally is stunning. You like can't highly recommend it enough. I even think my roommate has been using it. <laughs> like just, just look at it. It's stunning. I've been using that every day after I shower mixed in or if I have really dry spots like my elbows, I just rub it in a little bit at a time. Not only does it moisturize extremely well, but it also makes you smell and look like a like glass ball. Like it's so perfect for the holidays. On top of which, it also comes in a set, meaning it comes alongside the Lush Gold Silky Conditioning Body Wash, which once again is something I really need as someone with super, super dry skin, super dry. So it's a really nice moisturizing body wash. It contains gold jojoba oil and vitamin B3 alongside other ingredients to make it a soap or a body wash. It smells the exact same as the dry oil. Oh, it's so good. And it is moisturizing. Like when I get out of the shower, I don't feel too dry. Of course, because I've cleansed and just had a hot shower, I am still gonna be dry, which is great to go in next with the dry oil. But this, like, it's so good. Ever since I received the products two weeks ago, I literally, that's what I've been using religiously, like dedicated, obsessed with them. And then at night, or if I'm just home alone, I like to use the third item that comes in the set, the holiday set. I think you can also buy them individually or in a set altogether. It's the Shimmering Lip Oil by the Lush Gold Collection. It's just as you think it would be a lip oil. It's in a great little pump up container. So you just like swatch it on your lips. I use it mostly at night because it is oil. So if I put it over top of a lip color, it is gonna dissolve the lip color because it is an oil for your lips. So I wouldn't essentially want to use it today on top of this because it will make my liquid lipstick disappear. But, oh my God, you guys, it also, <laughs> it smells the same and it's, it's so beautiful. 
So I've been using that throughout the day when I don't have any makeup on or at night before I go to bed and it's just been the perfect way to keep my lips nice and moisturized and hydrated in this dry, dry season. If you guys are interested in these products, from Scentbird. I highly recommend them for the holiday season. You're gonna smell like a romantic dream because I know I smell like a romantic dream these days. It's amazing. Or I highly recommend it as a gift to yourself or a gift to someone else for Christmas. Keeping in theme with showers, another product that I have been obsessed with for over a year, over a year, and counting is the Finola No Yellow Shampoo. And throughout the past year, I've tried other No Yellow products, No Yellow Shampoos. They just don't do it. This is the best toning shampoo I have yet used. It's so good when you're washing your hair with it, your hands start to get stained purple and even your fingernails. Like that's how dedicated it is to toning down your hair. I used it about a week ago and my hair is still like not super orangey. I mean, I have a problem right here with my hair being really like orange toned, but overall for the ends, it held like a nice ashy medium to dark blonde shade. And it just looks like it looks good. Highly recommend it if you guys have blonde hair and struggle with regular red tones in your hair like me, or if you're someone that colors your hair blonde and struggles with brassiness, this, will, this is a game changer, you have to try it. Then once again, keeping in line with the whole shower routine, the next product that I have is one that I started using a lot when I was living in Japan. And I feel like I haven't mentioned it in a while, but I've been using it consistently. It is the Jungle Botanics Forest Leaves Warming Hair Treatment. This is, like I said, a treatment, but it can be used in replacement of a conditioner, which is how I use it. So it does say that it's warming, but I personally haven't noticed a warming effect, probably because my showers are fire hot, nothing can compare to the heat caused by my shower. But this is probably the best in shower treatment conditioner I have used. It always makes my hair so silky soft. It contains basically all natural ingredients. So it focuses on a lot of oils for the hair that are really gonna repair, nourish, and restructure. It's, it's honestly the best next thing for me next to Olaplex. So Olaplex treatment first, this, and then whatever else there is out there. I have not felt so attached to a conditioner slash hair treatment other than this one and Olaplex. So if you're like me and have extremely color damaged hair, very dry, brittle hair, especially on the ends, try this out. You will probably be like, wow, how come I didn't know of that product before? In regards to body care, I'd say since the summer to right now, I have been loving the Skinny Tan Tan and Tone Oil Mist. It's really good. I was always dedicated to Bondi Sands and then I got this and it's just so convenient to use because it doesn't have a, um, an instant bronzer so you don't really need a guide but you mist yourself with it and it just kind of your tan slowly develops throughout the day. I used it last night and like perfect application. I do tend to go in after with my hands, just quickly rub it over my body to ensure I don't miss a spot but then I wash my hands after so they don't go orange. Um, I love it. I freaking love it. It's it's not a bad tan color either. I do know that my camera that I use to film my videos tends to make my skin tone look really orangey because in person, I, like, I look really yellow, but I I really love it. The only thing I wish they did differently about the product is that they made it in an aerosol because while you're spraying it, sometimes the product can get on your fingers and then you can't really get a good grip on misting yourself with it, which is kind of annoying, but ah, this product has so much good potential. It's really nice. Like you literally can spray it on and go walk out the door. Like it's amazing. It goes on dry-ish, so it's not as sticky or tacky as other foam self tanners. I don't know. I just strongly recommend it, you guys. I'm surprised at how much I loved it, to be honest. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do. The next product I have been obsessed with ever since October, I have been using it nonstop day and night, is the Pearl Essence Argan and Vitamin E Facial Oil. Reason I've been obsessed with it is because my skin is just so, so, so dry. I was trying to use the Ordinary Marula Oil to kind of replenish my skin, but it just wasn't cutting it. But I started using this again and this, 
changed everything, changed the game. My skin is not peeling anymore. It's not tight and painful anymore. But on that note, I have been mixing it with the I'm From Magnolia Sleep Mask. This combo is the perfect skin barrier repairing combo for me. Like I was using everything, everything in my collection that I normally would use for my skin and nothing was cutting it, which didn't make any sense. I was like, why are not all my like holy grail skin products working for me? And then I just, I was desperate desperate I mix these two together in my hand and put it on and it seriously you guys was the perfect balance of hydration protection and moisture at the same time so if you have been struggling this fall and beginning of winter season with your skin and don't know what to do to repair it and stop it from being so dry and peely honestly like girl get your get your hands on like some argan and vitamin e facial oil and this sleeping mask, you're set. Preferably if you can find both of these together. I got this at Winners in Canada and this I got from wishtrend.com. Um, I'll have everything linked below, but like highly recommend. In regards to makeup, there really isn't anything I've been that obsessed with that isn't something that I already use, but I have noticed within the past month and a half, I have been reaching for Jeffree Star's Celebrity Skin almost all the time. Like every time I'm gonna be going out for the evening, I've been reaching for this color, which I haven't reached for in quite a few months, but like I have it on now with a mix of something else, which you'll see if you, if you wanna see how to get this look, then definitely subscribe to see that because that will be an upcoming video. But this mixed with another color is the lip color that I currently have on. And I just feel like I'm, I've am i fallen in love with this lip color all over again for fall and winter season. And it's just so, it's just such a good color. I've also re-fallen in love with the Play 101 blending pencil in shade number 14, which I also have on my eyes right now. It's just a wonderful neutral medium brown um, base makeup, like base eyeshadow base. <laughs> and I used it a lot, I'd say a year and a half to two years ago, and then I kind of stopped using it, but now I'm falling back in love with that look. Yeah, like it's, it's just such a good product. Like I will probably continually purchase this, but it's lasted me so long and I was obsessed with it. And I still feel like I have a lot in there. Like I have not started to run out of it. So highly recommend. And lastly, the final product I have been obsessed with is my Giorgio Armani C perfume. I usually, like I never really talk about perfumes that much in my videos, but I have been putting this on every single day that I step out the door. I give one mist of this in the air and like walk through it and it is everything I want in my perfume and more. It's my favorite scent. I have never bought in a full size perfume before either until this scent because I just, it's, it's me, like this scent is me. If you're unsure about if you want to buy a full-size product, you can always go into a Sephora store and ask for a sample. Um, that's what I did for years because I couldn't find the scent that really spoke to me until I found this one. I knew about it for a long time, but I just couldn't commit to it really until now. But yeah, definitely recommend that. I think Scentbird also has um, options you can choose for it as well. Scentbird provides travel size, conveniently packed, um, small sizes of perfumes. Really good, really good. You should check it out. But anyway, that is it. That is all the products that I have been obsessed with the past few months. Like I said, I will have them all linked in the description box down below so you can check them out. And I'll also have that Scentbird page link there as well. I so recommend it. it like such a good holiday gift or self treat for Cyber Monday or Black Friday, I highly recommend. But anyway, you guys thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below on what your current number one obsessed product is. I would love to find out what you guys are obsessed with lately. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more. I upload one to two videos every single week on this channel, but make sure you hit that notification bell or else you will not see my uploads, unfortunately, cause YouTube is lame like that. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.